There is no role in life that is more essential than that of motherhood. And the natural state of motherhood is unselfishness. Thank you, God, for mothers. Thank you, God, for a mother who loved me. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy you've joined me today. Thanks so much for spending part of your day or evening with me. And I hope that you're able to find the silver linings of life. Well, today's video is dedicated to mothers, mothers everywhere, and next Sunday is Mother's Day. So I thought I would combine this video with some of my favorite things that I've received over the years as gifts from others and gifts that I've given to myself. So before I show you all of the, uh, the gift ideas, I want to share with you what my silver lining story was this week. It was quite unexpected. Well, this video almost didn't happen because my husband and I on last Saturday, well, I last Saturday came down with COVID. Yes, I had managed to escape it all this time. And here we are in kind of the back end of it. And yesterday, we felt well enough to take a walk around. Again, it was a beautiful spring day. And those are the pictures that you saw at the beginning of my video. So my silver lining is that I was able to spend some really good quality time at home. My husband was able to take a little bit of a vacation, tough way to get a vacation, but he got some days off. He'll be going back, God willing, on Tuesday and just seeing some beautiful spring pictures. So that's my silver lining after having had COVID. So without further ado, let me show you some of my favorite things that I've received over the years in case you want to drop some hints to your significant other or your daughter or your son or your grandchild or even just by yourself a wonderful gift for Mother's Day. Here we go. I'm going to start this off with a collection of probably the nicest gifts I've ever gotten in my life from my husband. And he's given me some beautiful, beautiful gifts over the year. So this graphic that you're seeing is a picture of my shoes and my bracelet and my hoops, my hoop earrings that I received for Christmas. Now, I have to tell you, I guess I'm guilty of living under a rock because those sparkly shoes that you see, those are by Jimmy Choo. <laughs> I had never heard the name Jimmy Choo. When I was really younger, I was all into brands and you had to have the right shoe and the right purse and the right dress and all that. I left all that behind a bunch of years ago. Not that I don't like looking pretty. I think every woman does. But I do sing, or at least I used to before COVID and having gotten sick all those years. And so I would always wear really pretty kind of special shoes. And so the hope is that I'll be able to get out there and do that again. And so I'm that's sure that that's thinking of that's when he purchased these beautiful shoes for me. Um, so you can see them there in the picture, but I actually have the uh, bracelet. And so I thought I would show you this up front. This is a double tennis bracelet. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just, just beautiful? And I love the clasp on here because you're not going to lose this. You see, it's one of those clasp that you're going to pull. I'm going to put it on right now. Here's how it looks on. Isn't that beautiful? Really special. And I have to say, I wear it all the time. I don't care if it's a special occasion. I wear it all the time. And then you may have seen, um, I think it's K Jewelers right now, has a beautiful Mother's Day commercial out. And they're, fi they're, they're featuring these earrings. Look at the sparkle. These are Swarovskis. And I'll loop, I'll, I will link below if I can find a link for these products. But these are available right now. Oh, it's, it's on the Swarovski site that has that beautiful, beautiful commercial. But they've been doing a lot of marketing on TV for Mother's Day. So... And these are these are just gorgeous on. Um, and so here's how the how the loops look, or how the uh, hoops, I should say. Here's how the hoops look. 
and boy do they catch the light really nicely if you're under if you're on under candlelight beautiful just a beautiful looking stone and you can see them there in the picture and then of course I have my I call them my everyday hoops if you follow me you see I wear these almost in every single video because they're short and they don't get in my way when I'm combing my hair by the way the wig that I have on now is by Jean Renault she's one of my favorites and her name is L and she is in the color 56 F 51 one of my favorite favorite combinations okay so that takes care of um, the jewelry and I want to also share now that's kind of high-end stuff I get it but there's all kinds of people who watch this channel you, it, you, you may your husband or your significant other whomever's going to bless you may want to splurge on you and so those are some items I know I never would have bought those Jimmy Choo shoes I mean never <laughs> never Unless I was a multimillionaire, then I probably would, but uh, a bit extravagant for me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my Amazon store and I'm going to share with you some of my favorite things from my Amazon store. I'm going to share my screen with you because if I take the time to take every single one of these things out, we'll be here for two hours. I did that one time and it, it was a Christmas video. Um, so let's just head over to Amazon and I'm going to start with clothing and accessories. I was talking to my sister on the phone last night. And you know how we're always looking for these body shapers? Well, she has been, well, she's been trying to find, we're always trying to find com comfortable brassieres, right? So she's been purchasing, sending back, purchasing, sending back. Some of them she keeps, I don't know. And, but she was showing me this particular shaper last night and she loves it. And the thing she loves about it is it doesn't have the bra shelf that comes up underneath the bust. So there's nothing under there for the summertime when you you don't want to feel like you're perspiring. But it does have these inserts and an inset cup so that it is going to hold you. The only thing that she said was she wasn't thrilled about how long it was. Um, maybe if you're really a tall person, but it came it came down to about the top of her thigh. It came down a little bit longer than this, but I feel like you could wear it under a dress and it, it's more slimming and it didn't ride up. She said it didn't ride up and you could see where the price point is. It's very, very reasonably priced and it comes in different colors. So she was going to see if she could find it with something a little bit shorter in the torso, but I we spent a while looking and I don't think that she found one. But I'm absolutely going to order one of these for myself because it looks that comfortable. And so I thought you might be interested in something like that. Now, some other things that I love here. I do love this. I, I love off-the-shoulder blouses because I think that they make, you know, someone made a comment on my channel uh, not too long ago that we shouldn't wear cold shoulder tops. Well, I disagree. I think one of the most pretty areas of a woman are her shoulders. And if your decollete is is not beautiful like it used to be, well, you can wear a cold shoulder top and, and you know, you can cover this area, but you could show some skin right up here, put some some little bit glitter on it, you know, and, and it just makes you feel so feminine and pretty. And so I do love off the shoulder tops for that reason. And they're cooler in the summer. So here is a really pretty one. And I'll move forward. You can freeze the, the, the screen, of course, if you want to go back and look at it. But I think that one's really pretty. Look at the lace on there. It's just beautiful. And um, honestly, a lot of the clothes that I send to Am from that I get from Amazon, I keep. Now, this nightgown right here, I live in this thing. I love this thing. And the, my only complaint is I'm short, I'm only five foot two and shrinking, and it's very, very long. And 
but you know what? Take it to the tailor, have him run a a, a hem in it for ten bucks, and and but I didn't even do that because I just wear it around the house, and it's the fabric is so. It's just so comfortable, and I feel like I can answer the door if I want to. I put my earrings on, put a necklace on, go to the mailbox. Um, I've even run to the some errand where I was running in and out, you know, just put a belt on. This is a real find, and they have it in all kinds of colors here. And the only one that I really ended up in, uh, liking was the black. It, to me, it was just elegant, and it looked beautiful. So, but they do have lots of other prints, but it runs very, very large. I got the size large, but I tried going with the medium and I didn't like the way it draped as well. So if you're, a, I'm not a very large woman, I'm about a size 12, but if you're extremely large, then you're going to want to go look at the size charts, go larger than you think you're going to need. Okay. So that is just something that I love. Um, from from uh, from Amazon. Let's see what else. I got this Sakos. I ordered I don't know two or three of these. I got it in this color. I got it in this color, and they did not have this color when I was looking for it. If they did, I would have gotten it, and they didn't have any more of the periwinkle. So I may order that for spring. Again, very comfortable. Put it on. I know people think that these are moo-moos and they might, you might feel like, oh, it's an old lady thing. I don't. I love them. I feel elegant. And again, just put some earrings on and some nice sandals. If you're, if you want to sit out on the deck, you're covered and you look beautiful. So I love those and I wear them constantly in the summer and spring. I actually wear them all year round. So, and then there was one other thing. Oh, yes, back from Bali for the summer. Um, really nice, really nice. The, the fabric is so light. It doesn't cling to your skin when you start to perspire. It's long on me. It comes down to my mid-thigh. If you're tall, it's going to come where you see it here. And uh, very, very, very pretty. Very pretty on. Uh, throw it over your bathing suit run out to do grocery shopping, sit on the deck, whatever, have friends over. It's a really, really pretty top. So now we're going to move away from the clothing and we'll go back to, these are things that I personally own. I'm also going to link below for you every single thing that I have on my face today from what I put on for my skincare and what I put on for my makeup. It's not that many things. Um, but the dewiness that you're seeing is coming from two things. It's coming from my rosehip oil. I'm doing an experiment right now. I use rosehip oil on my left side, and I've been using that skin um, elixir, that very expensive $50 an ounce elixir, and then I'm using the rosehip skin oil on the other side. I'll show you in a minute, and then I'm going to see if there's any difference in the next couple of weeks, because one is about a third of the price of the other. <laughs> the uh, rosehip oil is a lot less expensive. And one of the things that I want to do this year, truthfully, is if I love a product, I want to see if I can find it a little bit, a lot less expensive that accomplishes almost the same thing. Tall order, I know. I mean, there are products that you just have to pay for. But I think there are products that you can find substitutions for. So let's go over to my natural hair care products store and these, again, are things that I own right now. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is the Design Line um, Shampoo. Now, I'm going to show it to you two different ways. This is the old packaging of Design Line. This is what I use. I use two different products on my hair to shampoo. Well, actually, three. I use Design Line Silvers or Biolage. And to clarify, I use Neutrogena. I'm going to show them all three of, show you all three of them. But I'm showing you the design line because 
first because they changed the packaging. Now I wrote to the company and I said to them, "Are ah, is it the same formulation? And they were very nice. They got back to me and they said, yes, it absolutely is. It was just time to change the packaging. So what they did was, so don't order this one. If you see this one, don't, don't order this one. Um, they changed to the design line like this, like you see. And um, so again, same thing. Same product, but this is my gold standard for now. Um, my hair, as you've seen, it's very white. It could pick up yellow very quickly because it's all white. White hair can turn yellow on a dime. And uh, so I wash it once a week. When I wash my hair, I wash it with this, with Neutrogena. No matter what shampoo I'm using, what, because it's only once a week, I start with this, get everything off the scalp. And then, so every other week, I use a different shampoo. So the, I will use the design line one week, along with the conditioner. And then the other week, I will use the Biolage. The Biolage, oh, here it is. So we have the, the Biolage purple shampoo, and we have the Biolage conditioner. Now, here's the funny thing about Biolage. The purple shampoo is very purple. I only use it from my, like my ears. I only use it from my ears down, and I scrub it all underneath. And it doesn't really make my hair purple, but I do notice that if I'm in a particular kind of light, I'll see kind of hints of lavender underneath. doesn't bother me. I have a... Um, another video that I talk about how I do my hair. So these are the two products that I toggle, toggle between. The Design Line Silvers and the Biolage products. And then I just started to use, because I saw another reviewer talk about this product, um, for extra hydration, I've added this to see how that does. Previous to that, I had used um, the, oh, where is it, the Olaplex. Previous to that, I had used the Olaplex. So, Perfector number three. And I used that when my hair was very damaged about a year ago. And it truly did restore my hair. So now I'm basically just taking care of it. I don't think I need the Olaplex anymore. But if you have really damaged hair, start with Olaplex and just Use as directed, get a really great shampoo. I don't think you have to get the whole suite of Ol Olaplex products. This is the only one that I got, and it really did the job for me. And I'll see if I can find that video and link it for you below. And then finally, the last thing that I love um, that has really made a difference in my hair is the Keratin... Where is it? Oh, the Lanza Keratin Healing Oil. A little pricey. Little goes a long way. I'm on my second bottle now, I think, in the last year. Less lasts me about six months. But remember, I only do my hair once a week. And I love this. You could put it on before you blow it out. It will protect your hair. It makes your hair feel like corn silk. I am not even exaggerating. I put it on while it's damp, and I put it on again after it's dry. After it's styled and everything, I just put it doesn't weigh your hair down. It's an amazing, amazing product. And so I show you these uh, these things that are a little bit pricier because I think a lot of us aren't going to go out and spend that kind of money on our hair. But you could make a little list of things that you want. Leave a little love note or a hint, however you want to do it for somebody who loves you. And these products work. These are quality products that I would buy again and again. So let's see what else I want to show you. Okay, that's basically it for my... Oh, and then uh, you know that I do use the True Hair. Um, put it in the parts of my um, scalp when my scalp looks pink. I put it in there and um, it covers up the pink and the parts of my hair that I need a little filler. I put that in. Lasts all week long. Actually really does thicken your hair, doesn't sweat out, doesn't run, doesn't do anything. It lasts a long, long time. Okay, and then the other thing is 
Uh, let's see. What else do I love, love, love? Of course, my Dyson. I did a whole video on Dyson. If you're blessed to have really deep pockets and you can afford this, and you have any kind of hair that's got length on it, you're going to love this. It absolutely polishes the hair. It gives me the most body I have ever had of any appliance that I've used. Yes, I know it's pricey, but it takes care of our hair in such a, such a beautiful way. And I will link that um, video as well for you. Okay, and my other faves, I think that pretty much covers it. I think. Oh, yes. And I usually do get my got to be glued, which I use on my natural hair. I usually do find that the best price I can get is on Amazon. You might be able to find it cheaper someplace else. I mean, of course, you know, do your shopping. Uh, be a good shopper. But most of these things, if they're in my Amazon store, I haven't been able to find them for less money someplace else or I might find them four or five dollars cheaper but then they're going to charge me seven or eight dollars uh, for shipping or twelve dollars and then it takes them a week to get it to me with Amazon Prime a lot of times I get them the next day okay so then that the next the next category would be uh, great gift ideas for her now, here is a beautiful gift to give to someone if she is a sister in any way, shape, or form. Whether you're blood sister, related by blood, related some other way, this is a beautifully done gift. You see this? It's, it's in a beautiful black box. I have that box upstairs, but I do have the cup right here. And it comes with a spoon and then it also comes with the top so that you can keep you can keep your beverage warm or keep the buggies out if you're going to be having coffee on the deck I think this is a beautiful beautiful product and it's made out of marble it's made out of ceramic marble beautiful beautiful gift no regrets for buying that whatsoever so let's see what else we have and then i just thought that this was really cute these tissue holders now i haven't bought that for myself yet but i wouldn't mind getting that as a gift would you mind getting that as a gift and they say put it in your car i'm not going to put it in my car i'm going to put it on my dressing table <laughs> but i think that's something that's really really special and different but i will get it at some point and then, let's see, what else do we have? Lily silk scrunchies. You don't want to be using anything but silk in your hair because you don't want to rip the hair. Yes, I know, they're a little pricey, but very much worth it. And they grab really well. I thought it would slip right out of my hair, but it's, it stays. So that's a, nice, that's a nice scrunchie. And then, I don't know if you've seen these Clippa things. They help you with your pocketbook. You know, they've got a little video here that you can watch, ways to use it. I love that thing. A lot of times how I use it is especially in a public bathroom. I don't want to put my bag on the floor and there's no hook. There's no hook on the back of the door. So I'll hook that clip of thing on the door, on the actual door, and then my bag is kept off the floor. Same thing for restaurants. Use your imagination. I think that's a wonderful, wonderful invention. And let's see what else I've gotten that I really, really love. I love this. This is a lunch bag. I gave one to my sisters when we went on a, uh, a vacation. Uh, we all had them. There, there were four of us that had these. Again, watch the video. They're all lined inside. They kept everything nice and cool. And what I loved is they had the, the thing on the front so that you could keep your phone. She's got a see she's got her 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 phone right there you can see her kids so easy access for your phone and you don't have to take it out of the bag to use it because it's got the um the plastic on the outside i thought that that was brilliant and let's see what else here that's just different
this little store here has got I've, I've got to go in and clean it up and organize everything and keep dumping things in here um, and of course my beloved Neutrogena I use that all the time keep one in your pocket keep one in it's not that expensive and it really sticks on your lips it's sticky which I love and let's see what else by the way did you know that you can get I didn't know this again under the rock under the rock everybody if you don't have a pump for whatever product it is you're using Amazon sells these things what does Amazon not sell I just think this is a wonderful thing <laughs> I love Amazon <laughs> Okay, um, and what else is in my little miscellaneous store? Oh, that's because it's all great gift ideas. That's why it's so mixed up. Okay, um, all right, that'll be it for that one. Now let me go back to, let's go back to makeup, because I'm going to show you all these things that I have on my on my face. I'm just going to scroll down here and I'll just click on it if I have it on my skin right now. So right now I have It Cosmetics. That's what I'm wearing. And this lasts, I think I bought my tube three years ago. You need a tiny, tiny bit, and I mean a tiny bit. Gives great coverage. And I wear light medium right here that you see see that's the color that I have on my skin I cannot say enough for this cream and it's SPF 50 to save your skin alright and I also wear the IT Cosmetics mascara again I'll link all these down I wear the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores blush and I wear the Revlon Ultra Lip Lacquer and I wear this is what I have on my face right now today and I have the it cosmetics celebration foundation after I'm done with all my foundation I just pat that around my nose and in the folds of my nose to keep the shine down my nose is always red and shiny love that product again I bought that about three years ago I'm due to buy another one the Tarte palette uh, this palette is one of my favorite I, I've had this probably I don't even know. Four years. Um, it's a fave. You, you, if you watch my videos, you see I've always got it in my hand. I'm holding it up. Lasts a long time. And it's highly p pigmented. So you're not having to use a lot of it on your eye. And let's see what else I've got on my skin today. And I do use, I don't have it on today but I, because I ran out of it, but the Charlotte Tilbury, I have to say so far in my life, this has been my absolute favorite blush. I don't like the price of it, but so far it's my absolute favorite blush. I'm trying to find one that I like as well. Um, the It Cosmetics one is a close second, but I have to admit I like the Charlotte Tilbury a little bit better. And then um, I also use... I don't have it on today, but I also use I also use this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hy Hydrating Lip Shine. It's really a beautiful shade of pink. Love that, and it stays on a long time, and it is hydrating, and it's in that beautiful raspberry color. So I love that, and believe it or not, I love Maybelline Eye Mascara. I love Maybelline Mascara. I get it in black. I get it in blue. I just love it. I put a little bit of it cosmetics, uh, it mascara on first, and then I finish it with the Maybelline. You know why? I love the brush. I love that Maybelline brush. So, <laughs> and then I almost forgot to tell you, I do use the Urban Decay as a primer before I put my um, my eyeshadow on. Otherwise, it just goes away. It just absolutely goes away. So I think I've done yeah my lips, my foundation, my cheeks, my uh, powder, my um, eyeshadow, my mascara. The only thing that I didn't show you was my MAC eyeliner gel. I use, I love this, I love a cream gel. So I'll put it on with a really fine brush and then I'll just kind of... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Just kind of feather it out, 
you know, take another brush and feather it out, and then I'll go in with my with my mascara. So those are all my those are all my mas all my makeup things. Um, I did have an eye pencil that I purchased. I don't think I put it in the store. Yeah, I I bought this Sephora. Um, liquid eyeliner I didn't like it I don't like liquid eyeliner I find it's very hard to use I think you have to have such a straight hand to use it so I don't like it that doesn't mean it's not good it's just I'm I'm I've never been good with liquid eyeliner now for nails hands and feet I absolutely love the china glaze I have it on right now you can see that I have that on now and it's a beautiful pink color they have all kinds of colors but this is the only one I wear goes with everything and they also and it doesn't chip I can wear it and wear it and wear it and I find usually before day one or two my polish was chipping nope it stays on and I actually see a lot of people buying that in my store so I know other people like it too and it has a um, it has a uh, a top coat to match it but I also love OPI. It really is high glaze and looks beautiful over anything. So you don't have to match. It doesn't have to be the same company. So either one of these two. I'm out of OPI right now, so I'm sure I'll, I'll use up my China glaze. And then let's see what else I love in here. Well, that's mostly my nail, my nail stuff. Oh, uh, nail polish thinner got this love it and it helps your nail polish go a long way so I know that these are kind of practical not glamorous things but it might be something that as I said you just don't really spend on yourself or you don't buy for yourself um, now let's see what else I want to go into my RX store for a minute I've talked about Lumify my husband is an eye doctor he recommends these he gave me some of these drops yes they do make your eyes pop so this is a great great product great product and then I recently have used because I was having an eye problem I used this and again not an eye doctor not a medical person but it just helped my eyes feel really clean and and uh, they were irritated and um, so I love this product. My husband had recommended it's I it makes you feel like um you're washing your eyelashes really well. And you know, we wear a lot of eye makeup. So every once in a while I just like to to use something like that. You don't have to use it every day, but it just makes you feel really refreshed. So and I didn't have any kind of a problem with it, but of course it doesn't mean that you won't. Always check with your own eye doctor, but I love that product. Okay, and so let me see if there's anything else as I land this plane that I might want to tell you about. Oh, wig care, of course, since I am a wig channel. Let's talk about that. Um, these double-sided adhesive tapes, wonderful. If you don't have hair, if you're bald and you're looking for a good price on tape, um, the I love the Jean Reno Easy Hair, the uh, treatment. Jean Reno right there, their products there. Um, I heard Taz talk about this, uh, the sea salt spray. I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm thinking about picking that up soon. I know if Taz endorses it, I know it's a quality product. So there it is in my store. Um, and what else? Love this Simply Styling. You just spray it on. I put it on my wigs before I put them away in the box. It's silicone. It's not for natural hair. It's for your wigs. And oh, the fragrance. I love how it smells. When I sell a wig, I'll spritz it right in the cap and on the hair fiber so it stays nice and uh, moisturized during travel so if you buy a wig from me and you pick it up and it's and, and you smell a fragrance that's what you're smelling but it's not offensive it's beautiful it's clean smelling I love it and let's see what else I love Batiste right here I use that um, if I'm not using my true hair color and lift and I want to fill in usually in the front where I'm the thinnest 
I use the Batiste. I don't use it as a dry shampoo. I use it to cover a pink scalp or to cover uh, parts of my hair that look that look sparse. And a little, go I mean it, a little goes a long way. Someone did a review online on different dry shampoos and this one was highly, highly rated. So I know it doesn't have perfect things in it, but I don't know what to say. <laughs> Girl's got to cover her bald spots. Okay, um, and of course, you know I talk constantly about It Stays. I have it on right now with this wig. Otherwise, this wig would be riding back on me. I love It Stays. It's body glue. And you hear the word glue and you're like, oh no, I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to put glue on. No, no, I'm not doing that. No, it's not like that. Trust me, it's not. It's just the most beautiful product. You put it up on your hairline, it grabs the wig and it comes right off with water. It doesn't hurt your wig, doesn't hurt the lace. I've been using it on L for two years and it's never hurt it. I just take a little washcloth and and wash it off with water i don't even use soap comes right off the lace doesn't hurt the lace and finally let's see i thought there was one other thing here of course you want to have these combs you don't want to be using a regular comb on your wig so you should have a few of these one in a purse one in where you put your wig on one in the bat one in the car wherever you're going to be Okay, so we are coming into the home stretch here. I hope that this has given you some wonderful ideas. And uh, this really is not a... I'm going to tell you this one other thing here. I made a video I'm going to about this product. I have to tell everybody about this product. We're in such a time of survival mode. This is heavy cream. Let me show you this. Of course, I mean, I don't know that you'd get anybody this for Mother's Day, but I'd want to know about this product. And it's there's no additives. It's just heavy. It just says sweet cream solids. You see that? And you know what? I add it to my coffee. I do add a little bit of xylitol sweet because I, it does leave a little bit of an aftertaste. Don't know why. But I just put a little bit of sugar, honey, you know, xylitol sweet. And you've got cream. You've got cream. If you're camping, if you're in the car, whatever. And it keeps for a long time. That's my second bag of it. I'm getting ready to op open that up. So um, <laughs> it's just amazing what they have, everybody. So that is my Amazon store uh, tour. And I'll show you one more thing that I love. I love this company, um, Zulily, because I was looking for tops, again, where you could show your shoulder, and they have some really, really sweet tops at Zulily. Going to drop the link in to Zulily, and, you know, just head over there and look and see what you like. I love this one here. I love white. Well, look, this one looks nice here. I mean, it's a little bit low there, but you know, just look and see what they have. That's a pretty one. And again, I just think tops that are that are off of our shoulder are very pretty and they're very feminine, and you know what? They are a little hard to find. I'll be honest with you. They're a little hard to find. So, I've had this one for years and years and I don't usually pull both sides down. I like one side down. and um, But it's just cool. It's cooler not to have anything up around your neck and a collar and all of that. So, and I hope that you find something things. that you love or can maybe suggest however you do it to to someone. I think most people want to know what we want. You know, you can you could give them a list of 10 things and say surprise me. It's still a surprise. I would love to do that. I would love to give my husband a list of things that, that I've been looking at. It wouldn't hurt my feelings at all. There is no role in life that is more essential than that of motherhood. And the natural state of motherhood 
is unselfishness. Thank you for visiting with me today. I hope that you look for and experience silver linings in this next coming week. And if you do, I hope you'll share them with us in the comments below. See you next time on Silver Linings. Bye-bye. Thank you, God, for mothers. Thank you, God, for a mother who loved me.